The day so far has been awesome. We are doing an IB workshop called Engaging Creative Communities, and it's bringing a lot of communities here at ISNS together that don't necessarily get to collaborate as often as we'd like because we are in different departments with different schedules, and we're gaining skills on how we can really just interact more and make more impact uh, here within the school as educators. Today in our workshop we are learning about visible thinking. Um, the Project Zero project from Harvard focus on, focuses on visible thinking routines which helps teachers to see the way the students are thinking and it helps to guide thinking but what our workshop leader has taught us or pointed out that is we don't just want to do visible thinking routines we want to make thinking routine so we want to we're going to learn how to develop ways to make our students into natural thinkers instead of just following processes um, I'm really enjoying the the workshop so far and um, I think we're really going to learn a lot As educators, we go every day thinking that we are trying our best and we're doing our best for our students. But when we have this kind of opportunities, it really helps us reflect on our teaching and our practice and wonder, are we really doing the best that we think we, we can? So we're doing a PD on assessment in the DP and this, so far this morning we've looked at summative assessments and then later on we'll also be looking at formative assessments and it's been really helpful to kind of get the big picture overview of what assessment is in the IB, especially the DP, and to see how the different departments are approaching it as well. So far it's been a great learning opportunity. I've enjoyed it. because we have a, a special presenter all the way from Miss Bangkok from Erin Kent Consulting. And she's sharing a lot about play-based learning and literacy. And the three things that we took away just this morning was how important our values shape the way that we design our learning spaces, the kind of resources that we use, and the way that we interact with children in the classroom. And so it's really exciting to think about where we're going to go from here, what's we're grounded in our values and our, um, and our goals for learning. So in, in our ISNS uh, early years, the one thing that we really value is play-based learning. And by having this early years trainer come to a school to do a workshop with our teachers about play-based learning, it supports and develops our teachers to make sure that play becomes the core of our teaching and learning, using students' natural curiosity to enhance the learning that happens in our EY. Lauren and I am a vice principal at a school, an international school in Bangkok, Thailand. Um, but I do a little bit of work for Erin Kent Consulting, uh, who works with international schools all around the world. Uh, and in particular, uh, today and tomorrow we are looking at play, um, but also looking at literacy uh, within play and how we support our youngest learners' literacy development.